this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a really cool extension that I found a while back that allows you to control video or cue points without having to write any code. Now keep in mind this is a behavior and it's only available for ActionScript 2 projects. Uh, in a later tutorial I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use uh, ActionScript 3 to do the same type of functionality. Now to find this extension uh, you can go to the DevNet Center within Adobe um, and you can find that behavior, that extension, uh, by going through Flash and finding its tutorials. Uh, that's, that's a really lengthy process. Uh, if you actually just go to Google and type out Flash Cue Points Behavior, uh, I'll take you right to it real quickly. So I'm going to do that real quick. Flash Cue Points Behavior. And here it is. It's the first search result. And you get to this really cool article by Dan Carr that shows you how to use that behavior, that extension, within your projects. Now check this out, Macromedia Flash Professional 8. Uh, it's very old, but it still works uh, within Flash CS4 and any other versions uh, higher than Flash 8. So you'll see here there's a tutorial and sample files. You click on that, uh, download the zip, uh, extract it, and you'll get this uh, MXP file uh, that basically is the extension for Flash. Uh, so check it out. I already did that. Here are my files. You'll see there's a Flash uh, playback behavior, MXP. You double click on it and it'll open up Extension Manager and allow you to add those uh, extensions, if you will, to your applications, to your Adobe products. Uh, I already have this installed, so I'm going to decline this user agreement. And you'll see here it is. If you do install this, make sure that you restart Flash to have those behaviors available to you. Uh, if you don't, um, you just won't be there. So returning back to Flash, I'm going to go ahead and open up a project file that I already have. Uh, basically it's just a stage that's 550 by 300. Um, Flash Player 10 really doesn't matter, uh, but it's important that it's set to ActionScript 2. Uh, in here I have a couple images that will be used as buttons and we need to import a video that has cue points already baked into it. Now to add cue points uh, you basically just take your video and during the compression process uh, you add your cue points, set it to a specific time and specify if it's going to be uh, an event or navigation. And We'll talk about that uh, here in a little bit. Uh, but this video I'm going to be using uh, basically had like a green screen effect that I removed. Uh, I added markers within After Effects and then I used those during the compression uh, as cue points. Um, to bring in that video, file, import, import video. And I'm going to browse for that video. Here it is, buenogreen.flv. Go and select that file. And I'm going to go ahead and use uh, the external video playback component uh, to play this video. Now this is important, I make sure that option is selected, continue, I'm not going to use a skin um, because we're going to actually control it with our own buttons and our behaviors, continue, finish this up, and there's our video. Now if I go to the properties panel, you'll see I can go ahead and open up the component inspector, and there they are, there's my cue points, I'm going to go ahead and open those up real quick by double clicking. And you'll see I have a number of cue points set uh, when I encoded this video to an FLV. And some are set to navigation, some are set to event, and to specific times. And they all have their own unique name. So basically we're going to use a button to jump to a, a navigation cue point by their names. So I'm going to jump to the Photoshop section, the Dreamweaver section, and the Flash section. Which is basically a description of what the classes that we offer in Lumen Bright. Um, again, I talked about navigation and events. What's the difference between the two? Uh, a navigation is more like a, a bookmark, if you will, within the video. You can jump to that bookmark and play from there. An event is like a trigger so that if you had any type of code or um, you want to jump to a specific timeline when you click on uh, when that video gets to that point, uh, that's what you'll use as an event cue point. So I'm going to click OK here. I'm not going to do anything with that. I'm going to close up this component inspector. And I'm going to bring out some images that will be buttons uh, to jump to specific spots within my video. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this over to the bottom. And I'm gonna go to my library and bring out these little graphics. I'm gonna resize them because they're kind of big. And Dreamweaver, Flash, and Photoshop. And line them up to make them look pretty. There you go. And I'm gonna convert these to buttons uh, so I can add those behaviors. F8, that's uh, gonna be a type button, BTN, FL for flash. F8, BTN, PS for Photoshop. One last one, BTN, DW for Dreamweaver. Now, just like any other project we do work with, ActionScript, um, everything has to be referenced by an instance name. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select this uh, video component here and give it an instance name within the properties panel. Vid1. So now I'm going to click on the button. I'm going to go to my Windows Behaviors panel. And when you click on this plus sign, you'll notice that we have this FLV playback controls, uh, which was added with that extension. Now again, making sure that my flash button is selected, I'm going to click on the plus sign, playback controls, seek to queue name. And here, we'll reference the name that we want to jump to, flash, within the video. So on release, when I let go of the button, I'm going to jump to that queue name, flash. Go ahead and add the other two here, playback controls, Stick to queue name. This is Photoshop. Here's the video. Okay. One last one. Dreamweaver. Playback controls. Queue name. And Dreamweaver. Save and test. And you'll notice. That when I click on these links here, these buttons, I'm gonna jump to a different section within the video. So here's a Photoshop description, here's a flash description, and Dreamweaver. And you'll see, if you cannot hear it, you'll see me kind of dance around uh, within the, the flash file. So check it out, you know, go to Adobe uh, DevNet section, find that cue point extension, that behavior, um, add it to your flash software and play around see what you can do and see what kind of projects you can build.